Let's take a look at some examples of speed distance time questions. So here we're working out speed, so we know speed is the distance divided by time. The distance is 203 miles and the time is 3 hours and 30. Now 30 minutes is half an hour, which as a decimal is 0 0.5. So 3 hours and 30 minutes is going to be 3.5 hours. Normally this is the stumbling block for certain people, is converting time into decimals. And 203 divided by 3.5 that comes to 58 and the unit for the speed is going to be miles per hour because the distance is in miles and the time is in hours. Let's look at another example. So here we are looking at distance. Well, if speed is distance divided by time, speed multiplied by time is distance. So the speed is 72 multiplied by four hours, 45 minutes. Well, 45 minutes, that is three quarters of an hour and three quarters is 0 0.75. So four hours and 45 minutes is going to be 4.75. Again, this is the stumbling block for lots of people. I know lots of people that will write 4.45, but the problem is that time is counted in units of 60. Um, so it doesn't fit into the decimal system, which is all about tens and hundreds. So 72 times 4.75 comes to a total of 342 kilometers. Let's look at the next example. So it's gonna be 86 multiplied by three points. Okay, how do we deal with 24 minutes? Well, one hour, I'm sure I don't need to tell you is 60 minutes. So as a fraction of an hour, 24 minutes is 24 sixtieths. And if we type into our calculator 24 divided by 60, because this line in a fraction means divide, 24 divided by 60 is 0 0.4. So this is 3.4 hours. It looks like a very random number of minutes, but six minutes is a tenth of an hour because six is one tenth of 60. So six minutes is 0 0.1, 12 minutes, 0 0.2. So even though the six times table might seem a bit random, it does work out that every unit of six minutes is another tenth of an hour. Anyway, we just need to do 86 times 3.4, and that comes to a total of 292.4 kilometers. Let's take a look at um, some more examples. So here, these are about time. Speed is distance over time. So time is the distance divided by the speed. So here, the distance is 414. The speed is 72. So the answer is simply 414 divided by 72 but we've got a slightly problematic answer, 5.75 hours. Now we need to give the time in hours and minutes. Um, I'm pretty sure you know that 5.75 hours is not five hours and 75 minutes because 75 minutes is more than an hour. But remember 0.75, that is a three quarters. So here we've got five full hours and three quarters of an hour, which is 45 minutes. In this next example, Again, speed is distance divided by time, so time is distance divided by speed. So the distance is 574 divided by 95. And 574 divided by 95, unfortunately, is going to give us a pretty horrendous answer. 6.0421 dot 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 dot. So we know that that is six hours. That is six full hours. Now we're interested in this bit. What does this represent? So if we just take away the six from this, let's get rid of the six full hours. So we, now we've got 0 0.0421 dot 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 on our calculators. Now to turn this into, into minutes, all we need to do is just multiply this by 60. And if you multiply that by 60, you get 2.52 minutes. So to the nearest minute, that's gonna round up to three minutes. So therefore the journey time is six hours and three minutes. So probably the hardest bit of speed, distance and time is converting uh, decimals into minutes. And the problem arises because we are familiar with the decimal system, but we count our, um, but there's 60 minutes in an hour and not 100.